Hi, this is Heather from A More Crafty Life. Today I'm going to show you how to do the waffle stitch left-handed. This is an easy stitch using the double crochet stitch and the front post double crochet stitch. I'm crocheting with Lion Brand 24-7 cotton yarn and goldenrod with a H 5 millimeter hook. For the waffle stitch, you need a multiple of 3 plus 2, so I crocheted 18 plus 2 for a total of 20. And then you are going to double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. 1, 2, 3, 4. You're going to do one double crochet for each chain for the entire row. The waffle stitch um, makes a boxed texture that looks like a waffle. Um, it's pretty quick to do since it uses the double crochet stitch. Um, it works well for kitchen towels, pot holders, blankets. I've seen scarves and hats made out of it. Um, after you've got the it set up, it's an easy two row repeat and um, you don't have to do any counting. So it makes it great for watching TV and crocheting. And as we come to the end of the row, just keep doing one double crochet in each stitch. Okay, and we're going to chain two and turn. One, two, and then gonna turn your work. Okay, we're ready for the second row. This, dub, this chain is going to count as the first stitch of the row and you're going to front post double crochet around this stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook, go behind the post of the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull up two loops, yarn over and pull through the last two loops. Then do one double crochet in the next stitch and one more regular double crochet. And this will be the repeat of the row. One front post double crochet followed by two regular double crochets. So let's go ahead and do that. So front post double crochet, two regular double crochets. You continue this until you get the last two stitches of the row. One more double crochet. You see you have the last two. Then you're going to front post double crochet in the second to last stitch. And then you're going to double crochet and the last one. Okay, and this is how row two looks. going to chain two and turn for the third row you are going to do a double crochet in the second stitch 
and then you're gonna do two front post double crochets followed by one regular double crochet. And you can see that the front post go where you double crocheted on row two. So two front posts, double crochets. Followed by one regular double crochet. And you continue this until the end of the row. When you have one stitch left, then you double crochet in it. You continue your two front post double crochets followed by one regular. double crochet and then you put one double crochet in the chain okay so this is the end of row three and you just repeat this chain two and then you repeat row two and three until you have the length that you want I'm gonna do a couple more rows so you can see the raised box stitches. And you can see now more what the raised box looks like. The front post make the kind of box and then the double crochets make it um, sink in. You can see this is what it looks like on this side. And then this is what the back looks like. And you can see here, here's another example um, of the stitch. Um, thank you uh, for watching and I hope you'll like my channel I'll be adding more um, how to stitch patterns and projects and you can find a lot of free crochet patterns on my blog A More Crafty Life thanks Heather from a more crafty life.
Today I'm going to sew, show you how to do the edge stitch left-handed. Um, in the first picture, I used Line Brand Re-Up Cotton Yarn Confetti, which I'm not sure is available anymore. And here I am using Peaches and Cream um, Evening Sea and a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. So they said you need a multiple of three for this, so I'm going to chain 15. So when you have your 15, you are going to work one half double crochet and one double crochet in the second stitch from the hook. So here's one, two. So one half double crochet and one double crochet. Then you're going to skip two stitches, one, two, and you're going to do one single crochet, one half double crochet, and one double crochet all in the same stitch. Then you're going to skip two stitches, one, two, and then you're going to repeat. One single crochet, one half double crochet, and one double crochet. All in the same stitch. Just start to look like that. And then this is the pattern. Skip two, one single crochet, one half double crochet, and one double crochet, all in the same stitch. Okay, skip two, one single crochet, one half double crochet, and one double crochet, all in the same stitch. And when you get to the end of your row, where you only have one, only have one stitch left, you do one single crochet, chain one, and turn your work. And then this is where your repeat starts. So it should look like this. And you are going to do, this counts as the first single crochet. You're going to do a half double crochet in the first stitch and a double crochet. Then you are going to skip to the single crochet of the stitches before. So you skip these two and then the third one is the single crochet and you're going to do your single, half double crochet, double crochet, and repeat. Go to the next single crochet, do one single, one half double crochet and one double crochet all in the same stitch. Skip to the single, do one half, one single, one half, and one double crochet all in the same stitch. Okay, move on to the next singles from the rubble floor. Do one single one double, and one, one half double, one double. And then you do your final single crochet in the chain from the row before at the end of the row. And then you are going to chain one, and you're going to turn your work, and then you're going to do the same thing. This counts as the first single, then you're gonna do one half double, one double, skip to the next, to the single space, and do the same thing. One single crochet, one half double, one double, and repeat until you have the length that you want. I have a pattern for a washcloth on my blog, A More Crafty Life. Thanks for watching.
this is Heather from A More Crafty Life. Today I'm going to show you how to do the double cluster stitch, left-handed. For this tutorial, I'm using an H 5 millimeter crochet hook and Lily Sugar and Cream Cotton Yarn, which is a gauge four. Um, in the original picture, I used um, damask ombre. For this pattern, you need an even number of stitches. For this example, I'm going to do 20, but you can do any even number. Okay, so I'm going to crochet my 20. Okay, so when you have your even number, you are going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And the next. So you should have two single crochets right next to each other. Then you are going to chain one, skip one space, single crochet in the next. And that is the repeat pattern to, to the end of the row. Chain one, skip a space, single crochet. Chain one, skip a space, single crochet. Chain one, skip a space, single crochet. So what you're doing is you're making little chain spaces and that's where your clusters are going to go. Okay, so chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet. Chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet. Okay, so now we have three stitches left you are going to chain one, skip this stitch, and put a single crochet in each of the last two stitches. Okay. So then your work should look like this with the single crochets followed by a chain one space that makes a little hole. Then you are going to chain four, Turn your work and then you are going to do your double crochet cluster in this, the chain one space. And the double crochet cluster is uh, like a double crochet together um, finished off by a chain one. So what you do is you do half of a double crochet and then you repeat it four times and then you finish off the stitch by pulling all through and then you do one chain stitch at the end. So you yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. So there's half of your du first double crochet. Then you yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, so there's your second one. Yarn over, insert a hook, yarn over, yarn over again and pull through two loops. Then yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, and pull through two loops. So now you have the four separate parts of a double crochet plus your first loop. Then you yarn over and you pull through all of the loops on your hook and then you finish it with a chain one. Then you go to your next chain one space. So you yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two loops. Yarn over, insert a hook, yarn over, 
you have two loops, pull through those two. So that gives you three and yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, go through two, okay? So then you should have five loops on your hook and you yarn over and you pull through all five and then you do one chain. Then you go to the next stitch and you repeat. Once you get a hang of it, this stitch is easy to do. Um, it just has a two row repeat. Um, and it works out pretty fast um, once you've got the hang of the cluster. And um, it goes pretty quickly since it's, the cluster is pretty tall. So you keep repeating your double crochet, your double cluster in each of the chain one stitches until you come to the end of the row. Okay, so, so far yours should look like this. Here's your, here's your chain four at the beginning and then four of the double clusters. And you find your next chain one space and you repeat. is always followed by the um, chain one. Okay, we're getting close. We've got two more clusters. all of your chain one spaces and then you do a um, double crochet in the last stitch on top of the chain from the row before and then you're going to chain one turn your work and you are going to do one cro single crochet in the second stitch okay so this is going to be your second row of the repeat, okay? So you have the two, the chain one and the single crochet, then you are going to chain one and you are going to single crochet in the space between the clusters, followed by one chain one. Single crochet, chain one, next, Space between the clusters, single crochet, chain one. And you're going to keep doing this until you get to the end of the row. Where you're going to do one single crochet on top of the cluster, the chain, that chain one stitch that you used to finish it, and then one single crochet on top of the chain three from the row before. So this is what it should look like. You're going to chain four and turn, and then you're going to repeat the clusters just like you did before. Um, Thank you for watching my tutorial.